Hello everyone, this is Thunder with a short video on the new features in Katrain version 1.4. You may have seen there's a new version of Kata Go Out, version 1.6, which includes versions not made a graphics card, which are called Eigen CPU versions. In Katrain, this is now implemented. I go to the general engine settings here. In addition to being able to download models, you can now download Kata Go I know it's executable files. Simply click the button over here, wait for all of them to download, and you can select one from the menu. If you have a graphics card, you probably want either the default, which was already included previously, should be the same as this OpenCL Windows version here. If you're on Linux, it will download versions for Linux. If you're on Mac, unfortunately, you'll have to find your executable. Uh, if you have a CUDA installed, you can use the CUDA version, which on very modern NVIDIA cards can be faster. If you don't have a graphics card, you should try the Eigen AVX2 version. This is the one that's optimized for modern processors, so probably those within the last five or six years. And if that one doesn't work for some reason or crashes, then you can fall back to the unoptimized Eigen version. Finally, there is the board size 29 version, which has also been released, which allows for larger boards. Like this one for now, so I can show that as well. If you want this one for your CPU only, you can download this from the Catego website. Although on larger boards, CPU only is probably not recommended. Secondly, a much requested feature has been to show the point loss on the moves. It may be used from other programs like Lizzie. I've been somewhat resistant to implementing this for a while because I think typically Q players should not care about these tiny point differences. But as the user base has expanded, it includes high down and professional players as well for analyzing pro games. It's clear that this feature has become needed. It's still turned off by default for a cleaner look, but you can edit the teaching analysis settings and check this box which says show point loss on top of those. If you toggle that, you will see that there's now text on the move showing the point loss. Another new feature is to show where on the board point losses occur when you make a mistake in a teaching game. For example, you have black push cut here and white attire from this side. You can see that this move loses about five points. And of course we look at the potential sequence and we can kind of see what's going on immediately. But often this is a rather big hint that we would like to stay away from and think for ourselves. Now, turning on expected territory while this undo move is showing gives us an intermediate option. It will show you that this corner is in danger and you can think for yourself about the potential reason and how you might deal with it. For example, by connecting your strongholds more strongly in center. And you can turn this off again, also, of course, with the T shortcut. Finally, a small quality of life feature when you turn on continuous analysis, instead of not being sure whether this is still calculating or not, especially when you have other analysis going on and it's pending, is this new indicator here. While continuous analysis is on, there will be a spinning icon where it shows the engine status. We'll go back to orange when you turn it off and then green when all the queries are done. Well, I think that covers most of the new features in version 1.4. I hope the new CPU only executables will make the tool more accessible to a wider audience and that the loss visualization function will help you in your teaching games. If you have any ideas on how this loss visualization feature could be expanded, let me know in the comments. As always, enjoy!